Today on Mechanics Minute, we have a customer's 2002 Silverado with a crack in the bell housing. Let's take a moment and find out why. During a routine inspection of this customer's 2002 Silverado, we found a crack in the bell housing that has formed. Typical causes for a crack in the bell housing would be driveline vibration. Let's take a look at this truck and see if we can identify the source. Inspecting of the drive shaft is one of the most common areas of concern. Look for anything like dents or damage or missing weights. Also the U-joints themselves, when worn, can cause vibration. This particular truck, we've noticed some wear on the rear U-joint. Marks on the U-joint cap indicate the cap spinning inside the yoke. Also, just a quick movement of the drive shaft shows that there is some wear. This U-joint appears to have been replaced at one time as it does contain a greasable joint. In this case, we need to examine the U-joint carefully, but also a bigger concern is how much free play is in the U-joint inside the yoke. When finding a worn U-joint such as this, always insist on a good quality U-joint. Also, make sure that there's no wear inside the yoke where the U-joint sits, and it's very common for the straps to stretch over time. To be sure, replace the straps as well when you do replace the U-joint. Fortunately, we found this before the crack got too bad and the damage was too extensive. If left unnoticed or unattended to, the crack can develop larger as well as possibly damaging the rear engine cover and further damaging the transmission resulting in a very expensive repair bill.